What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day or had a great day. All right, I had one of you subscribers send something in to me. His name's Oli and he's from Germany. He seems to be very knowledgeable about a lot of this stuff, including the Viking landers, both one and two. Now he shared with me about four photos, maybe five photos of the Viking landers. And one of them I'm going to show you today. Unfortunately, I do not have the link for it. I searched for it, cannot find the actual link. I did email Oli back to see if I can get the information or at least some links. And if I do get that, it'll be dropped in my pin post, always at the top of the comment section. But before we get to that photo, I want to show you something a little interesting. And I think it'll boggle the mind a little bit. Now we see China just came out with their photos from Mars. We have the Perseverance. We go backwards to uh, the Curiosity Rover. We have both Spirit and Opportunity. And we go back to 97, 1997, the Sojourner. Now we're going to go back to 76, the Viking Landers. Now, let me show you a panorama from the Viking Lander. Check this out. I think you guys will agree this is pretty darn good quality for something that was taken in 1976. And yet, we have subpar photos from Curiosity, China's new rover, Perseverance. These are back in 1976, guys. Check this out. That's insane. Look at the quality for 1976, yet we get, like I said, subpar garbage from our new rovers. Doesn't matter what country it is, right? There you go. Now let's get into this photo, because I think you guys are going to like this. All right, here's the photo. Right off the bat, blue skies. The quality of photo is really good, considering uh, it is from 1976. Now, if you notice in the photo, it looks like there's something flying around in the Martian sky, right? I can see it right here at the very top. Now, he did show me some other photos, at least one more that has more than one thing in the sky. So I want to make sure I can get the link to this because I want to make sure they're authentic. Now, I know this is a lander, but I'm not sure about the object in the sky here. So I kind of disregard that until I can get a real link. But this we know is an actual lander photo. We know that. All right, so let's get into this. I want to show you exactly what I'm looking at. There's some really, really fascinating rocks on here, guys. Now, this is a spot you want to concentrate on, so you can actually grab your magnifiers and pause this. Right here. These are the objects and the things we want to have a look at. Now, let me just zoom in a little bit. Move this a hair bit over. Pause this right here. If you notice, even in the second circle from the left, it looks like framework. It looks like something between the rocks Something that does not look like a simple rock, right? The arrows to the left of that have what look like these white, straight and bent parts. Again, doesn't look like rocks. The very first one here, it looks like some kind of top of something. If I didn't know any better, it looks like a top to an SUV. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, obviously, but what I'm saying is it's really weird. It has that box feature and it has what looks like openings on the side there, right? And it looks like a bigger opening in the back. Really interesting, right? The one over there, third one from the left, has more white pieces on the ground. Now, don't think for a moment, folks, that these photos haven't been messed with either. Keep in mind, this is 1976. We know that the Apollo mission photos from the moon came from when? Late 60s, early 70s. And those were completely censored and information redacted. So this should be no different, right? At the very top here at the circle area, we can see what looks like some kind of weird... Almost looks like a structure of some sort. Not sure what that is. The, the arrow to the right of it, right here, it looks like some kind of opening. Not sure. Is it a shadow of some sort? Good possibility. And what I find really fascinating is the one right here in the middle of the screen, right there, has these weird pieces on the ground. And where I showed that green straight piece right here, you can see it. it looks like it's a backwards L-shaped piece is like part of the land, like it's been cut out right there, and you're going to see that. I'm going to go right to the enhanced and show you this. What we did is we made it clearer. Anything that was white we brought out, and then we just did a full enhancement. Okay, let's jump back in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jockey back and forth from the outlines that I had done in the arrow, so you can see these things again. And what I want you to do, have a look at with your magnifiers, right? Okay, so there they are. Okay, you can see these things in the photo. Not sure what to make of that. Not sure what these things are, but I can almost promise you 
that these are mechanical in nature. It's as simple as that. Again, anything that had a white signature, I just made it whiter. That's pretty much it. And sharpened it up. So I didn't want to get too close. In fact, I may just back out a little bit. Right about there. So when you look at it, it doesn't have that kind of fuzz all over the photo. I'm trying to avoid some of that, right? And again, pause it where you like. And tell me what you guys see. Again, if you look at this piece right down here, we're going to go black and white on this now. Right down here, not only does it look like miniature structures or something buried in the ground, you can see that right there, but you can see what looks like a shape to the piece of land that this thing sits on. Okay, literally doing this, and you can see what looks like a faint line just going around that corner. But what are these things on the ground here? These look like small structures. And even if they were not structures, there's something that's in here that's actually buried. It doesn't look natural to me. Again, this part up here, what looks like it has a circle inside. You can see there's one, two, and almost a third, almost like white leg coming down. Almost looks like there's a circle in there, right? Have a look at some of the pieces over here. It almost looks like structures of some sort. Remember we were talking before about what looks like miniature structures. Now, to me, guys, this is a lander now. This thing's not super small. These are not very big. Whatever these things are, they're literally on the ground, and it's between these so-called rocks, and I'm not so sure all of these are rocks. Now, are there rocks on the ground here? Sure. Absolutely. But I don't believe that these are all rocks. You can see right here, this piece right here, where it's white, and I had to blast through it, to get to the actual piece, you can see right here is where I had to blast through it. You can see the corner of this piece right here where that blur was covering it. Again, you can see it doing this. You can see that weird part. Almost looks like it's doing this here, right? Going like that. But more importantly, there's an actual straight edge sitting right here and I'm not sure what to make of that folks there's parts all over the ground in here what are these things there you go right there guys right there in your face again pause it if you like guys tell me what you see when I first saw that photo, I went, why are we seeing things that look like either things are buried in the ground or they're miniature structures? Why do I say that? Because it looked like, like I said, that pieces, the two pieces on the right-hand side, it looked like it had a straight edge, almost like a, almost like a foundation or a cement slab, and these things are built on it. Is it a structure? No idea. Pure speculation. However, it does not look like a simple rock. Of course, rocks are all different shapes and sizes, but that does not look like a rock to me. There's other... Uh, objects in the background that clearly look like framework or something bent up or it's some kind of pots of structures or mechanical pieces. I don't know. Here's another thing I want to share with you. Right here, again, at the top of the screen here, we can see Viking 2 right there. Very top right and over to the left under the Rosalind Franklin Rover. You can see that right here. The Viking 1. Hmm. Why would they be under here again? Oh, wait a minute. This one here was the, the area of the small explosion, nuclear explosion. And the area on the left here was the bigger explosion right next to Cydonia Mensa. Okay. And this over here was Galaxia Chaos. So funny how these things just happen to be in these areas of these two explosions. Just south or around because you can see where the phoenix is on the top left. Imagine that. Now why do you suppose all of these landers and rovers are all around these exploded areas, meaning nuclear explosions? Look at the Zorong, by the way, the new Chinese rover. Look what that's at, just south and west of the Viking 2, right in the area where these explosions happen. Imagine that. Sojourner from 1997. They knew exactly where they were going to land this thing, and there it is. In sight, just south of there. Curiosity, of course. Every one of these, Spirit Rover, the Chaparelli, okay? Of course, it failed entries, you can see that. Not the point. They were putting these things down for a reason. Okay, Mars 2. They got the polar land because it's more south and of course like that. But again, 
Large explosion here on the left in the blue. Smaller one just in that same area of the Viking 2 in the Zoll wrong now. So, what are they doing here? Pure coincidence? I don't think so. Folks, tell me what you see. Are these just simple rocks? Or there's more to it than that? Again, if I get the link to this, I'm going to go ahead and drop it. But I know for a fact that is the Viking lander because I've seen uh, photos very similar angles, may slightly different angle. And it is, in fact, the actual lander, right? Now, as far as the thing up in the sky, I'm not so sure of that because I found photos very similar to this and did not see it in there. Now, is it possible he happened to get his hands on other photos that is not popular on the Internet? Very good possibility. We're going to find out. Anyway, guys, don't forget to comment. Drop your thoughts below. I want to know what you think and see. And like always, don't forget to like and share. And please give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.